Hey YouTube I'm back with another crypto project, today we are going to analyze details related to Bancor, in the video description you can check all the project links. Before we start a little disclaimer, this is not going to be any investment advice, my job is to seek and present you with a review of projects, you should always do your own research before investing. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you don't miss any updates. Bancor is the only decentralized staking protocol that allows you to earn money with single token exposure and full protection from impermanent loss. Launched in 2017, Bancor was the first DeFi protocol. Today, it generates millions in fees per month for depositors, offering up to 60% APR on tokens like ETH, WBTC, Link, Matic, Aave and more. Bancor is owned by its community as a decentralized autonomous organization, Bancor DAO. The protocol token used on the network is the Bancor Network Token, BNT. The protocol's token allows traders to provide liquidity for the pools available on the network. Anyone can contribute liquidity to the pools. When liquidity providers contribute liquidity to a pool, they are eligible to receive fees for trades that pass through the pool. Liquidity providers will receive pool tokens that represent their share of liquidity, fees, and liquidity mining rewards in the pool. Bancor was founded by Eyal Herzog, Yudi Levi, and Galia and Guy Bernardzi in 2017. It was named Bancor in honor of John Maynard Keynes, who invented the word 76 years ago to describe a supranational currency. Eyal Herzog is the product architect of the protocol, BNT, and other products that use the network. He is a well-known voice in the cryptocurrency industry and has been a technology entrepreneur for over 20 years. Previously, he founded Metacafe, one of the leading video sharing sites in Israel with over 50 million users. Guy Bernardzi is the executive director of Bancor. He also co-founded Mytopia in 2005, a cross-platform game development company for social media users. Galia Bernardzi has been a technology entrepreneur and co-founder of the Bancor protocol for years. At Bancor, she works as a business developer. She also holds the position of CEO and founder of Particle Code. Yudi Levi is the CTO of Bancor. He has been a technology entrepreneur for over 20 years. Previously, he co-founded AppCoin, an app that allows communities to create their own currency. Bancor came to the scene in 2017. The trading platform was a pioneer when it comes to decentralized liquidity networks because before Bancor entered the crypto market, next to no one could imagine converting tokens without going through and setting up a ton of operations first. However, the Bancor network token, BTN, offered users the option to convert tokens from the convenience of their own crypto wallet. In order to understand how Bancor functions the first distinction that should be made is the one that differentiates between centralized crypto exchanges also known as SEXs and decentralized crypto exchanges, also known as DEXs. Both types are able to provide the same services on many parameters, however, they are vastly different when it comes to the methods of execution and the way in which they operate. Centralized crypto exchange platforms are the bread and butter of the crypto industry. They serve as a mothership that encompasses everything a trader needs. They chaperone every step of the way and try to make the trading experience as easy and as seamless as possible for its clientele. Of course, this does come at a price. Centralized crypto exchanges have a knack for charging a fee on every move you make, be it on trades, deposits, withdrawals, transactions, as well as collecting multiple points of personal user data throughout. The upside is that crypto users that choose to do business through centralized exchanges don't need to have much prior knowledge about the crypto industry and how it functions. The centralized exchanges have everything at the ready and serve as a mediator and executioner between parties. Most sexes will have a policy in place that requires that all users have to undergo full KYC and AML processes before they can be eligible to enter the order books. In the other corner, we have decentralized exchanges or DEXs, which can be viewed as the complete opposite of sexes. The most important distinction between the two is that decentralized crypto exchanges do not rely on employing a governing body or this party to oversee execute or control trades. Rather, DEXs rely on either automation or the involved parties themselves to make the trade possible and see it through. Such is the case with peer-to-peer -peer or peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. The main reason why traders go through decentralized crypto exchanges as opposed to centralized ones, apart from the fee structure, is that DEXs offer traders complete and utter anonymity and store no personal data or records of their actions of any kind. Similarly, Bancor functions as an AMM or automated market maker. The platform relies on its set of protocols when it comes to executing trades and orders and allows traders to take full control of their assets without having to press every single button manually. Bancor runs as an open-source DEX, 
which means that even though it is a decentralized crypto exchange, it's not tangled up in code that no one understands. The trading platform is as user-friendly as they come and relies on ergonomics rather than Flash for its clean interface that is tailor-made for swapping tokens without breaking a sweat. Users can either do business through the platform's official website at Bancor.network or if they're always on the run, they can settle for the trading platform's mobile app offering, compatible with both Android and iOS devices. Bancor is part of the EOS and Ethereum blockchain. The employed blockchain technology connects users so that they can make traders and conversions directly from their private wallets. How many trading pairs does Bancor offer? Over 8,700 trading pairs. To put that in perspective, Binance, one of the leaders on the centralized crypto exchange market that has some of the most diverse offerings in crypto pairs, supports about 450 trading pairs. Bancor has a very different liquidity protocol scheme than its centralized counterparts. The trading platform draws liquidity from the traders themselves. Users are incentivized to aid in the liquidity department. Every user that has a stake in the platform's liquidity gets a part of the trading fees in proportion to the stake. Bancor employs its ERC-20 token to bridge the gap between the employed blockchain and the liquidity pools. The platform doesn't swap token A for token B instead it swaps token A for its own BNT token and then swaps the BNT token for token B this way it has an intermediary on all pairs. This means that it doesn't need to create or support a liquidity pool that will house token A and token B. The platform employs its Bancor formula in order to calculate the relations between smart contracts and taxes them accordingly. That being said, the genius part is that without the BNT token users can't do much. They have to have it in order to be able to create a liquidity pool that will bridge the gap between token A and token B. Users aren't required to have the BNT token if there is already a liquidity pool for the trading pair that they are after, so non-BNT holders are still welcome. However, if a user does have the token, they can choose to add to the liquidity of the pool and get a percentage of the trading fee on the back end. Touche Bancor. Touche. The Bancor Vortex, VBNT, serves as an auxiliary token for users that are interested in staking BNT tokens is already up and running Bancor pools. The way it works is that traders can either exchange their VBNT, or leverage it against the liquidity pool so that they can get a bigger piece of the pie when a trade goes down. Without VBNT users cannot add liquidity to staking pools. VBNT tokens can also be utilized as a vote on Bancor's future operations and developments. The VBNT can only be leveraged against EOS or ERC-20 tokens. By employing AMM protocols the platform completely erases the spread that occurs in relation to buying or selling an asset. Furthermore, because AMMs aren't coded to draw a profit, the transaction fees for its services are also free of charge. So, in a sense, there are no deposit or withdrawal fees, because there aren't any deposits on withdrawals to be made. Finally, let's talk about the future of the project. Bancor V3 will focus on profit maximization, fees minimization, dual-sided rewards, automated yield generation, and protection against impermanent loss. The new iteration of the platform aims to abstract the complexity, so even average users can participate in DeFi and become profitable liquidity providers, even without much technical knowledge and former experience. Bancor V3 will introduce the Omnipool concept, which will allow for bypassing BNT-related transfers, as seen in earlier versions resulting in additional cost. This will allow Bancor to be competitive against other AMM protocols and save users fees incurred on transactions, increasing capital efficiency. The platform will also offer impermanent protection from the time of liquidity deposit, unlike 100-day staking requirement in earlier iterations. There are no deposit limits also on Bancor V3 anymore, which means that any user can deposit as much as they want at any time, without waiting for spaces to open up like earlier Bancor V2.1 pools. This will result in liquidity growth in the protocol at an accelerated unbound rate. The team calls it the infinity pool concept and the superfluid, easy-moving liquidity would be able to be simultaneously used for marketing-making and fee-earning strategies. Bancor V3 will also enable the native DAO to choose the liquidity direction, allowing it to invest in the protocol-owned BNT tokens to generate fees for the protocol. The DAO would also be able to monitor and redirect BNT liquidity to more optimized and better performing pools, thereby allowing the protocol to grow further and serve its users better. Remembering that this video is not an investment tip or a promise of easy or quick gains, we only introduce reliable and trusted projects to you. If you liked the video and found something interesting then please like, share and leave a comment, your feedback is very important to us.